welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Theron, Ireland's top chess player. Continuing the series of the US versus Ireland match, today I'm gonna I'm gonna show 4-3 Tom McGarland's best victory in the US match uh, in the match. So before uh I'll dive into the detail, let me appetize you with the learning outcomes by watching this video. Firstly, we're gonna learn the Dutch ideas, and secondly, we're gonna learn that hedgehog setup is not good for Dutch defense against the Dutch defense, and thirdly, uh, we're going to see how rapidly intuitive attacking ideas are in place. I hope this interests you, and let's proceed to the main course. The so game starts with knight f3, g6 by Tom. Tom is a king's union player, so he goes for g6, c4, bishop g7, queen c2. So here you can see that white doesn't really want to play d4 here. He has something in mind. Black gets the fair share. The center now, e5, knight c3, d6. And black, black doesn't commit any peace move yet. He, he's waiting for black's reply. And after d3, black sends that now it's time to get the lion's share of the center. b3, knight f6, bishop b2, castles e3. Now you can see white has has created a formation, a very, very good formation, also sort of called the hedgehog. Well, probably the knight would be ideally on d2, but yeah, we can say that this is a hedgehog structure. And so now the question is, is this really good or bad? So let's first see the game, and then we'll see when does the hedgehog really look really good. So let's see how the game went. Knight c6, e3, and here, very natural move, black went with a5, uh, which is dubious. Actually, white black has a really strong move, and this really pinpoints that moving too many pawns can create hooks, as it could be, like, you know, tickled with f4. This is a strong move, and now the idea is that, let's say, if bishop e2, take, take knight g4, and yeah, what black has many moves, but I love this counter punch. This really weakens white's um, central pawns, and yeah, it just diminishes white's um, yeah some hopes really because it's really going to be um, a very dryish game from white, and he doesn't have any um, um, really active ideas here. So white can black can play as he wishes. And he has a really strong advantage. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so after a5, bishop e2, had 6. This is a very key idea here. And as I was saying, um, attacking intuitive ideas, this is one major idea in the Dutch. I mean, actually, this is not exactly a Dutch, but yeah, it's because of f5, I can say, oh, sorry. Because of f5, I can say this is a Dutch. So black's main idea is not really to push on e4 or d5. It's mainly that to um, go queen e, g5, queen g6. So let's see how it goes. Bishop e6. And now here, um, white had a very good opportunity to gain advantage with d4. And this is the point um, which I will make uh, later when I say when is the hedgehog better, especially from the white side? So, after d4, firstly, white is threatening d5, forking two pieces, so black has to react to this very cautiously. e4 is one idea, and bishop d7. Let's say if e4, then white can have a leverage to do as he wants, and actually this is very nice from the computer side, but I'm not sure. But let's say after bishop d7, rook d1, d4, and let's say uh, rook e8, and just rook e1, and slowly f3 will come. So this really distracts black's attacking ideas, and this is very important from a def defending side to open the center when faced or going to be a potentially faced with a wing or flank attack. So that's why after this, bishop e6, d4 was needed, but black is uh, still playing in the mode of a hedgehog. So he goes for knight d2, queen e8, bishop 
f3, g5, g3, f4, a lovely move. Now, e3 is going to be weak, but actually black has another idea to immediately lock down the position. Here, and the bishop is really dreadful. Queen g6, now preventing the d4 ideas for good because of the pin. Knight e4, h5, b4. White is trying to distract um, black by you know giving this pawn, but Tom rightly rejects the idea of taking that. After a few moves, it was very simple actually. From here, it was a matter of technique. And knight of four is a very strong move, and yeah, black resigned because, um, like if queen c2, then a check, and yeah, it's winning a coin there. So, yeah, it's, we can show a little bit more. G3 bishop here, this is completely lost. So, coming to when does hijab really work? So, I'm gonna show one sample line which is kind of similar to one of uh, a game which I played, but not exactly. So let's see, see here, after knight f3, d5, it's completely different, but let me explain the point of it. So white tries to go for this rigged setup. Now the point is that black didn't play e5, and when he ever he plays e5, there's going to be always some problem, like for instance, takes, takes, Knight b5, now attacking this guy, and if if he moves, then bishop a3 is one idea, and if he doesn't, then there's always, I mean, yeah, white is threatening to take this guy out. So this is a very uh, a subtle idea there. So if black already achieves e5 and he's better off, um, you know, doing anything else, then there's no point of playing hedgehog, but when uh, yeah, when black doesn't uh, play e5, then hedgehog is a better um, way to play, in my opinion. I hope you learned. Uh, I hope you learned about how um, playing Dutch is very good against the hedgehog, and also uh, not playing hedgehog against the Dutch uh, is better. So. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to Chess ATC. Thanks, guys.